Viewers, welcome to today's session, my classes. My name is Dr. Ambidi Mutua from Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, Kenya. In this video, we shall be trying to see how you can use regression analysis, in particular, simple regression analysis, so as to be able to analyze data. We'll be using linear regression. But you have to give a context and some form of a background. Correlation, we said in previous videos that it can be used to analyze data and find out if variables are related. In other words, the strength of relationship between or among variables. Regression goes a step ahead and gives an equation relating to variables. Regression can also be used in hypothesis testing. Assuming that you want to test the following hypothesis, whereby the null hypothesis is there is a relationship Sorry, the null hypothesis is there is no relationship between fertilizer and yield in the farm. With the alternative hypothesis, there is a relationship between fertilizer and yield in the same farm. If you pick 95% confidence level, all right, and also alpha to be 0 0.05, you can be able to perform regression analysis to find out how the equations play out. If you'll be able to fail to reject the null hypothesis, or you'll be able to accept the alternate hypothesis. Now from there, I want us to go to SPSS environment, whereby we interact with the, some data. So let me now open SPSS, share my screen. SPSS is there. Now the next thing will be to create variables in variable view. We have fertilizer as one of the variables. Then we have yield as the dependent variable. We switch to the data view. So now we can put in data for the first variable, All right? That's what I'm doing now. For the yield, All right, almost done. Okay, we are done now. So from there we go straight to analyzing. You click on analysis menu, 
Then you choose regression. You want to try linear regression for now. All right. Our dependent variable is yield like that. The dependent variable is a fertilizer. There may be many, but since we are doing simple regression analysis, we just have one independent variable. So then you click OK. And you wait for the results. Now, before I move on, I need to share the window with the results so that we are on the same wavelength. Now the results are shown in the screen. As you can see there, there are three very important tables starting with the model summary table, which as R, if you square this value, you get R square 0 0.992, all right? Or basically 92, 99.2%. So the first table indicates the variation in the dependent variable, which is yield explained by the independent variable. So you can see, you know, almost 100% uh, is explained by the independent variable. From there, you move on to another very important table known as the ANOVA table, which uses the F test, as you can see here. And then you have to pay attention to the significance you can see that uh, the p-value of 0 0.000 is less than alpha value that we set, which is 0 0.05, meaning that the model overall, the model is significant. In other words, there is good fit of the model, meaning that the model with the predictor is better in explanation than what we refer to as only intercept model or a model without predictors. Now, after that, you move on to the last table, which usually call the coefficients table. And this is the table that you use if you want to test hypothesis. You can see there is the t-test here. Use the t-test to test the hypothesis that we generated in the beginning. This table is also very important if you want to generate an equation relating the two variables. You can see you have what we refer to as a standardized beta coefficient, and you also have standardized beta coefficients. You can use any of them to derive the regression equation, but that will be demonstrated later on in other subsequent video. Now, if you look at this table, you find that the p-value 0.000 is of course less than the alpha value of 0.000. 0 0.05, meaning that we reject the null hypothesis that there is no relationship between yield, rather between fertilizer and yield. And then we accept the alternate hypothesis whereby we find that there is a relationship, there is a significant relationship between the fertilizer and the yield. The use of the word significant in a hypothesis is also very significant in the sense that there's always a relationship, but the big question is, is the relationship 
significant. So with that, we come to the end of our today's class where we have used regression analysis. We have demonstrated how to use regression analysis to analyze your data and also to test hypotheses using t-test. You should not be confused by t-test in regression with other types of t-tests that you may find in statistics. They are various, they are numerous, and they are used for different occasions. So from our end, goodbye, subscribe, so that you can continue receiving more videos like this ones.